So we're anticipating that this was going to be newsworthy since it's a second big recall in two weeks. That morning when you woke up on August 14th, we took out ads in the USA Today or New York Times, LA Times, Wall Street Journal. When you went online to Google or Yahoo's homepage, you got a message from us and we wrote a letter or, or had an email message directly to parents about what was going on. Further that day, we invited people to go to Mattel.com and learn directly from us what was happening, and here's what they saw. I'm Bob Eckert, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer at Mattel. In recent weeks, we've announced recalls of certain products. As the world's largest toy maker, I want to assure you that we continue to keep our promise to parents around the world through our steadfast commitment to the safety of children who play with our toys. I'll let you know last month that we were stepping up our testing and oversight, and we did. I want to reconfirm with you today that we're thoroughly testing our toys to ensure they are the high quality you expect. As part of our increased efforts, we discovered additional products that had very specific parts that could be affected by lead paint, and we're now voluntarily recalling those products. At Mattel, we work to continually improve the design and manufacture of our toys, and if we find issues, we address them immediately and tell you about them promptly. We detected this as part of our new heightened testing and took immediate action to determine the scope of the issue, inform regulators, remove product from retail shelves, and communicate openly with consumers. We've now tested the majority of our toy lines, and as we finalize testing, you have my promise that if we find any other issues, we'll continue to do the right thing. We'll let you know about it. I want to again apologize for this situation. The safety of your children is my personal priority, and I want you to know that I will lead safety efforts to ensure that we maintain your trust. Let me put in perspective what we're talking about here. We shut down our supply chain at the busiest time of the year for Mattel. You know, most of our toys sell at Christmas. We're shipping those toys into retailer in September and October. And we completely shut down the supply chain in August to test everything. All product lines, everything before it left Asia got tested. And we're looking at pretty small parts. Let me again put this in perspective. This is a toy that was ultimately recalled last year. We test every paint on the toy, and in this particular case, it's these little yellow headlights at the very top of the toy. So it's painstaking detail. Um, you know, unfortunately, unlike Dominic, what you may have experienced as a child, we're not talking about a lot of lead on a lot of paint here. But it still shouldn't happen. You, people shouldn't have to worry about lead paint on toys. We anticipated this was going to be big news, and sure enough, it was. Here's how it played. news as it develops as only CNN can bring it to you. See for yourself in the CNN Newsroom. You are back in the CNN Newsroom welcoming those watching on CNN International as we continue to follow news of a major toy recall. Just a short time ago, an announcement that Mattel is recalling 9 million toys. On the recall list, Sarge, it's a die cast toys from the Pixar Cars movie, you saw it there. The concern there, lead paint. Among the other toys being pulled from the shelves, millions of Batman action figures and Polly Pocket dolls. The concern, magnets that could become dislodged. All of the toys made in China. This now is the second recall of Chinese-made toys from Mattel in two weeks. Mattel is preparing a second big recall of Chinese-made toys, and they are citing concerns related to lead paint, as well as small magnets that could harm children if swallowed. The company is also launching a new national advertising campaign to assure consumers it's on top of product safety. This that you're looking at right now on our screen is the full page ad that is running today in USA Today, the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. First is the major recall, the toy recall, nearly 19 million toys recalled by the nation's biggest toy manufacturer, Mattel their second major recall in just two weeks. One that's raising questions about countless toys tucked in homes right now. Recall nightmare. Parents scrambling to see if their children's toys are safe after Mattel recalls more than nine million of them. Who dropped the ball? This is bad news for Mattel. The toy maker will have to tell parents once again that the toys their children play with could of course, be dangerous. those are not our toys. <laughs> Now, in this country, you know you've hit it big when you're on this show. 
2007. From Comedy Central's World News Headquarters in New York, this is The Daily Show with John Stewart. Now, we've always known it was only a matter of time before this great land was taken over by Chinese overlords. The question was, how would they do it? Nuclear strike? The inevitable financial power of a billion person in the economy? Well, we know now something far more insidious. A massive recall of toys from a big popular American brand, Mattel. And again, this is about Chinese imports, and the numbers here this time are staggering. Fifteen quadrillion gazillion. <laughs> and word on the street is there could be spajillions more. <laughs> spajillions, I say. You heard me right. Spajillions. <laughs> the massive recall was triggered when a Chinese factory contracted by Mattel was found to have made millions of toys contaminated with lead. Although, thankfully, as you can see, no stray hairs. <laughs> you know, you hate to be licking a lead-painted toy and find a hair on it. Honestly, really, what's the hair net really doing there? Well, we're very safe. Obviously, any product recall is a serious matter. All the more when children are involved. I'm sure Mattel's CEO had words of caution and contrition. Since most of the toys today are made in China, most of the problems with manufacturing, the recalls come from Chinese toys. When we've made toys in other markets over the years, we've had recalls from those markets. I mean, you should have seen the crap we turned out out of Koala Lampour. <laughs> I'm serious, I once saw a Polly Pocket doll made of weaponized plutonium. <laughs> on a more serious note, as the summer went on, we had a couple of more smaller recalls. Let me describe what really happened here.